Hello everybody! After some time I'm finally back with another video and this time I will teach you how to create your own custom made crystal gemstones. This was my first ever attempt of making them and I'm so happy how well and gorgeous they turned out. Also I have never seen this technique before, I figured it out by myself and I'm really excited to share it with you in this video. Keep in mind that these crystals are artificial and only meant for costumes or decoration. They obviously don't have the same value or effect as natural crystals. And yeah, don't forget to check out the second part of the video which will be the makeup tutorial, of course. So to start off we basically need to sculpt our crystals and I just used self-drying clay to do so. It's really helpful to get a sharp tool like a knife or something to cut clean and defined edges and if you damp your clay it's also easier to work with. The sizes and shapes are completely up to you and your imagination. When you're happy with the look of the crystals you can put them onto some kind of stick in order to have more grip on them and then let them dry. When they are all dried up we can create the molds for these babies. The material I'm using for this is silicone which you can easily get in your local hardware store. In order to be able to work with the silicone you have to squeeze it into a water and soap solution so it does not stick to your hands and this is really important. Then simply wrap the silicone around your clay crystals and leave them to dry. After two hours your mold should be dry and ready to unwrap from the clay. And if you have difficulties with unwrapping big crystals you can also cut the mold open and then simply stick it back together with more silicone. And now we are finally making the actual resin crystals. Therefore you need to pick different pigments and different colors of your choice. I chose actual eyeshadow pigments and glitters to color my resin in four different shades, which you can see here. I wanted the crystals to have a color gradient from translucent to dark purple, so I placed my molds into a little cup and then poured in the different colors in the right order. If you do not own resin, you might also be able to use nail polish instead. I cannot guarantee to you that it would come out the same way, but you could definitely give it a try. And waiting for the resin to dry, I was so excited to finally find out if my method would have worked out. And I was even more happy to find out that it actually did. Now it's time to reveal our magic from the silicone molds and then finally find out how the color gradient came out and how beautiful they look. Now with these crystals you can do whatever you want. I decided to create a crystal ear cuff and to do so I just took some wire and tried to give it a really basic shape that would fit my left ear and then basically added a lot of hot glue to keep it in shape and have a base to attach the crystals on. And with some more wire I then added some detail to both sides of the ear cuff so I could actually stick it onto my ear and then started gluing my crystals in the order I like them to be. The small translucent crystals you can see here, they are actually just rock candy that I tinted with a little bit of food coloring, so you can eat them. <laughs> and lastly I just used a bit of acrylic paint to cover this kind of disgusting looking yellowish color of the glue. <laughs> and because I had some more crystals left I decided to do another accessory on a simple hairband. And again I just glued them on using a hot glue gun. And yeah, having a mannequin head in this case will help you a lot, trust me. After some final touch-ups with the acrylic paint and some fake leaves, both accessories are done and ready to be used. I really hope you could learn something nice from this little tutorial and please give me some feedback on how you like these crafting tutorials and if you would like to see more of them. Yeah, don't forget to check out the makeup look that I did according to them, of course, I mean it's a makeup channel. 
If you like this video, then why don't you give it a like and subscribe to my channel. Bye bye.